We just finished to install our solar system on the roof, we have a lot of production and we want to use that energy in the smart way. For example, we want to turn on an AC based on room temperature and of course based on access from our solar system. So in the next video I'm going to show you how you can do this and what device you need for that. So let's get started. Welcome back to CST, Claudio here and like I told you at the beginning of this video, we're gonna make a rule a scene based on few devices. First of all, you need a solar system installed on your roof. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can do this with Fronius, also you can do it with Victron, with Grobat, with Huawei and basically with any device that it's able to communicate with Homey because Homey is the brain in our uh, video. For those who don't know what Homey Pro is, I recommend you to search my other video because you're gonna see a tutorial about Homey. Basically, Homey is a home automation hub that connects with almost everything on the market. In our case, communicate well with our solar system, with our temperature sensor. For example, I will use this Ruby sensor as a room temperature and we're gonna show you how you can do it. So, about Ruby. As you know, Ruby are our friends. They send us some merch. They have some devices in their portfolio. They have the standard sensor, like the one I use over here. And also they have the, the Pro sensor. I'm gonna make a separate video with uh, their products because they're pretty nice. So, you need the inverter, your Ruby sensor, a home automation, and of course you need an AC. In my case, I will use an LG AC. Basically, it's an AC that it's that has a heat pump outside and of course has a very very low consumption and in the last can communicate pretty well with Homey and also as you know LG by Homey so basically they will be the same company. Okay let me open the Homey homepage and I'm gonna show you how you can do this. First of all you need to pair devices. If you don't know how to pair your inverter, please check my other video. You're gonna see how you pair the device over here. In my system, for example, I already paired the AC. As you can see over here, I have AC David, Dormitor Cloud, Living, Living, and also Living. So my AC are already paired with this uh, homey. Uh, second, you have to pair your solar system. For example, I have Fronius, I have Fronius, Huawei, uh, and my Victron. In this case, I'm gonna show you how you can use energy from Fronius and turn on the AC. Now, let's pair this Ruby sensor. Please keep in mind, this is a Bluetooth sensor, can also be paired with your iPhone. For example, if you have many Ruby in your home, I recommend you first pair with Ruby app from your phone because you're gonna need to see the MAC address. It's only available in the app. I don't find on the labels the MAC address and for me that was a problem but we sort it out so new device let's search for ruby let's select the ruby plugin please keep in mind it's a community a plugin is not official from homey so it's possible sometimes to have some bugs but let's hit ruby and let's connect let's wait for homey to search my sensor in my case i have several sensors in my home most of them are already paired with my solar system from victron as you can see over here i have only the mac address so in this case i'm gonna uncheck this because this one is the sensor i have in my studio for this video so let's hit continue so in this moment the ruby it's on my dashboard let's make some settings over here because i want to display the temperature and of course the name i will say demo ruby okay save it so in this moment i need to wait for ruby to communicate with homey homey it's over there please keep in mind you need to put a ruby near your homey let's wait needs few minutes in order to to communicate and once we'll be pair we'll display the temperature so in this case we want to measure the room temperature first i want to be sure that i have a temperature that need to be cold or hot in my room i don't want to turn on the ac to work without any reason if the room temperature are uh, is not correctly so in this moment the ruby was already communicate with homie and as you can see it's very hot in my studio 13 20, 29 and 37 degrees i'm gonna make a small disclaimer over here i'm not a native english speaker so if i misspell something don't hate me just ask me in the comment if you don't understand something okay so we have solar system we have ac we have ruby so let's make a flow a flow basically it's a rule so let's make a rule let's go in flow and we're gonna make an advanced flow because we want to make a flow with some boxes 
First of all, we need to add the device. For example, when, let's Ruby, Ruby demo, we want to check the room temperature first. So, if the room temperature becomes greater than 29 degrees, in my case, it's very hot. And let's have another device. For example, example, we want to use Fronius. When the Fronius has the production, let's check. Total production now. Let's check DC voltage, AC voltage. You have a lot of options over here. Okay, become greater than. So, when it's hot in the room, when we have a power greater than 3000 watts, for example, we want to turn on the AC. So, we need all this rule to be meet, meet in order to, to run the flow. So, if it's hot, if you have the production, then we want to turn on the LG. For example, let's take AC David and let's turn it on. Basically, this is a very on-off program. Let's save it. Let's say demo and save it. So in this moment, Homey will check if the room temperature it's uh, 29 degrees is greater than 29 degrees. If the power production is greater than 3000 watts, then we'll turn on the AC. Of course, if you use Homey, you're gonna add uh, notification, you can add WhatsApp message, you can add whatever you want. It's not a Homey tutorial, but it's a very short video that will show you how you can use smart uh, the energy. Of course, you also need to make another rule in order to turn off the device because once will be turned on, you want to turn it off. So let's make another one when, for example, Ruby sensor hit the temperature. Uh, let's check, let's check. Uh, room become greater, become less. Let's check. If the room has 22 degrees, we want to turn on the turn off the AC. So I was gonna make a uh, replace, turn off the AC, and of course I'm gonna make an off scene and save it. So in this way you have an on team and of course an off team. So this is the video and this is the way that you can use the energy in the smart way. Basically if you have homey, if you have sensor, if you have AC, if you have solar system, basically you can do whatever you want to your room. But this was my video for today. I think you learned something new from this one. And if you do, just give us a subscribe, give us a thumbs up. And of course, if you don't understand something, just write us in the comment below. I'm Claudio from the CS Tech. Thank you for watching. And of course, don't forget to check in the description below because you're gonna have links for all these devices. So see you in the next one. Bye.